the Lakers may have just gotten a preview of what the postseason will look like. A blowout loss to the Phoenix Suns, allowing 48 first quarter points, losing by a final of 141-11. Meanwhile, some good news may be on the horizon for the Lakers. As Anthony Davis said before the game, he's optimistic that he may be able to come back from his midfoot sprain that has kept him sidelined since February 16th. Kendrick Perkins back here with us. Perk, what do you think? Should the Lakers bring AD back? No, no. Bring him back for what, Molly? At, at, at this point in time, why would you bring him back? And right now, you bringing him back to say, oh, get into the play-in tournament and have a strong possibility of competing in the first round, it makes zero sense. The Lakers have one expectation and one goal, and that's to win the championship, and they're not doing it this year. Not with the personnel that they have right now. Russell Westbrook is completely out of it, okay, for whatever reasons, off the court, you know, dealing with the family issues, people attacking his family. I get all that, but he's completely gone. Him and LeBron James have zero chemistry. Carmelo Anthony can't guard a parked car. We heard what the uh, young fella Jalen Green said about him, that they was going to attack him every single time down when the Rockets beat them the other night. Why bring Anthony Davis back? And can you put us back up on the on the, on the the double screen so I can see Stephen A? Because you know I'm always watching you, right? You know that. You know I'm always watching you. And I'm sure. listening to you on the countdown, and you know what? You're really starting to get on my nerves with the disrespect to the Memphis Grizzlies. You mm -hmm. know, I'm really getting tired of it. For the simple fact that you went on there and you said, oh, yeah, yeah, well, do we, you know, they could possibly see Memphis in the way that LeBron playing. Do mm. we honestly believe that the Memphis Grizzlies could win that series? That's what you said, right? May I stop, may I stop you? May I stop you? First of all, let's cut, cut a couple of things out of the way. You are the protege. I am the mentor. So when you wag your finger at me and you talk about you really getting sick of me, respect your elders, okay? And watch your mouth and watch your tone. That's number one. Number two, K KP, you know what makes me laugh about this position that you take with Anthony Davis? What? I'm going to put you in a box. I'm going to put you in a corner. And I'm going to warn you, there are people watching, and the people that are watching are the names that I'm going to bring up right now. Or just one name in particular. Sitting down with an opportunity to be in the playoffs, okay? Would you say that to Kevin Garnett's face? Would you say, excuse me, you ain't going anywhere anyway. <laughs> Why bother playing? Would you ever utter such blasphemous words in his presence? Would you do that? No. Yeah, we did it before. We when? Did it before. when? We, did it, we, we did it in 2008 and 2009. We told him to sit down. We told oh, they him to sit down. Yeah, y'all won the chair. No, no, no. We won it in 07, 08, oh, 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 in 2008 and 2008. 2009. Okay. We told KD... I mean, we told Kevin Garnett, do not go take no toilet roll shot, big fella. Get healthy, and we just going to go out here and let the chips fall where they may. At the end of the day, when you have a guy like Anthony Davis, who mm -hmm. has been injured the way he's been injured this mm -hmm. year, and he's mm -hmm. coming back to fight for what? You have questioned, I have questioned his conditioning right now. Why right. bring him back and risk him hurting let me something answer that. else? Let me answer that. I don't know. You make a good argument, because I really didn't think that you, you said that to KG, but you are right. I remember now. You are right. Y'all did tell him that. I will say this to you. I believe the way LeBron James is playing. People keep forgetting Anthony Davis was horrible from three-point range with 18% shooting. But he shot over 52%, 53% from the field. He was averaging 24 and 10. If LeBron is playing at an elite level and Anthony Davis can be Anthony Davis. Can we definitively say that they couldn't win a first-round series? They couldn't win a playing game? They couldn't make noise in the semifinals? I get what you're talking about. I didn't say they could beat Memphis. What you were missing with my point of countdown is that Mike Wilbon had been religiously stating, quote, young teams don't produce in the postseason. I don't care who they are. So what I was saying to Wilbon was, well, since you say that, 
if Memphis is the number two seed and the Los Angeles Lakers capture a seventh seed, are you sure that they can't win that series because of what Will Bond was talking about? I would have picked Memphis to lose to the Lakers because I believe the Lakers are done themselves. But I don't expect Anthony Davis or LeBron James to believe they're done if those two brothers are healthy and ready to go. And that's where my challenge lies. They're, you're asking them, those two, to concede. And I think when those two are healthy, they don't have to concede to anybody. That's all I'm saying. No, but, but Stephen A., you know, like I know, watching this Lakers team, they just don't have the personnel. And there's no disrespect to Stanley Johnson. He's doing everything that he possibly can, but he ain't it. There's no disrespect to Austin Malik Monk Reeves. is having a good you season. Know, he can yeah, play. He, but he's, but he's yeah. up and down. And yeah. let's talk about LeBron James. He's been phenomenal on the offensive end. On the defensive end, it's been a national disaster. Yeah. Not yes. getting back in transition, bad body language and pouting. Yep. And he's my boy. But at the end of the day, he's not interested. And when you're not fully committed and you know that you don't have the personnel, why even waste your time? Well, I, when you're, but, we, but we're making two different arguments. Like, for example, what I'm saying is if you're Anthony Davis and LeBron James and you believe, you go for it. If you're the LeBron James you just described, these brothers already made their vacation plans in mid-April. And if that's the case, get it over with. You're absolutely right. I'm just saying if Anthony Davis and LeBron James are ready to go, I believe they believe they can beat anybody. And if that's the case, you don't sit down for that. We but all if they plan their vacation already, you're right. Yeah, but we all believe in something that we know we can achieve. I believe I could get down to 250. I know that's so far away, it's crazy, but it's not going to happen. Well, actually, I, 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 actually, actually, I wouldn't rule it out. I mean, all you got to do is get on a James Harden diet. How I mean, you, you get on a James Harden diet. I think you pull it off. I think you pull it off. You believe that it's not going to happen. Get out of here, Big Perk. I believe in you. You, you can know, make him and Zion. You want it him happen. and Zion don't oh got on God. some kind of diet. I want to know what's in their meal plan. I mean, I looked, at, I looked at Zion weeks ago. He looked like a tub. And now that you look all cut up and everything ready to go, I'm like, so what simple. the hell has been going on? It's two things. You don't eat carbs and you do cardio. We got to go. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.